His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Ghadaybiya Palace today several members of the royal family and senior state officials. He said regional developments encourage greater efforts towards all the necessary steps for preserving the security and stability of the country and its people. He reiterated the necessity of focusing on maintaining national security and stability and of achieving the desired progress in all projects, especially in the fields of education, health and housing. The Prime Minister affirmed Bahrain's pride in its history of achievements in various fields thanks to the efforts of its people. His Royal Highness pointed out that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have much in common, stressing the need to enhance communication towards further unity and joint cooperation. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Ghadaybiya Palace the Chairman of the Bahrain Society for Training and Human Resources Development, Mohammed Mahmoud, who introduced to His Royal Highness the Society's new board members in the presence of the Society's Honorary President, Dr. Ibrahim bin Khalifa Al Dosiri. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to invest in human resources in order to upgrade the level of services provided by the government. He highlighted the creativity and dedication of the Bahraini workforce workforce in various fields, which will help to raise the kingdom's status as both regional and international human resources levels. During the meeting, His Royal Highness congratulated the new board members and wished them every success in assuming their missions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the huge efforts exerted by the BSTD in upgrading Bahraini human resource staff and enhancing their efficiency. He also praised the society's participation in different international conferences and its portrayal of the kingdom's true image in the human and sustainable development field. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Bahraini workforce and said that such successful societies must be supported. The BSTD chairman, Mohammed Mahmoud, delivered a speech on behalf of the society's board members in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his constant support for the kingdom's development march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadaybiya Palace today the Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain Suha Al Far who presented His Royal Highness with an official invitation 
from his Egyptian counterpart, Sharif Ismail, to visit Egypt. His Royal Highness asked the ambassador to convey his thanks and appreciation to the Egyptian Prime Minister for the invitation and his wishes for Egypt and its people of further progress and prosperity. He reiterated the importance of enhancing Arab cooperation at such a critical time when chaos has spread across the Arab nation. He said a unified Arab stance on all issues was necessary to develop Arab countries and achieve the aspirations of their people amid threats against the security, stability and sovereignty of the region's countries. The Prime Minister noted the significance of the Arab League as a symbol of Arab unity and its representation of the hopes and aspirations of the Arab people for integration. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt based on mutual respect and joint coordination, stressing that the strength and security of Egypt is part of Bahrain's he expressed satisfaction with the progress of Bahraini-Egyptian cooperation, which reflects both countries' keenness to bolster relations in the best interests of both countries and people. He commended Egypt's efforts towards Arab integration and solidarity thanks to its historic weight and role in supporting Arab issues. The Prime Minister appreciated the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and their contributions to the development process of the kingdom in all fields. For her part, the ambassador thanked His Royal Highness for his constant support of enhanced bilateral relations, emphasizing the strong cooperation in the fields of politics, economy and culture. She praised the wise vision of the Prime Minister on Arab and international issues, which reflects his sense of reasonable responsibility towards the Arab nation. She said that Bahrain is appreciated by Egypt and its people thanks to its supportive stances in all circumstances and to its respect for the Egyptian community in Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the 27th Arab League Summit. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa left Mauritania today after taking part in the Pan Summit, which concluded yesterday. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak was seen off at Nouakchott International Airport by the Mauritanian Prime Minister Yahya Wildhad Amin and a number of senior officials. His Majesty the King's representatives extended deepest thanks and appreciation to the Mauritanian leadership for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to him and his accompanying delegation, wishing further progress and prosperity to Mauritania and its brotherly people.
Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mulla commended the royal address of His Majesty the King that was delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa at the 27th Arab Summit in Mauritania. He hailed His Majesty the King's assertion about the need to uphold a firm united Arab stance and to take strong and urgent measures at all levels to dry up the sources of terrorism and its funding and to address its root causes and conditions. He also praised Bahrain's firm stance in support of the Palestinian people and of restoring security and stability in Yemen. He wished success for all joint Arab efforts in boosting the region's security and stability to achieve the aspirations and ambitions of all people. The Shura Council's chairman, Ali Al Saleh, also hailed the address of His Majesty the King at the 27th Arab Summit in the Mauritanian capital, Nouakchott. Mr. Al Saleh said the address reaffirmed the strong desire to develop joint Arab cooperation to deter all forms of external interference, extremism and terrorism, especially the Iran's meddling in Arab affairs, and to develop the Arab League's mechanisms to serve all Arab interests. He hailed His Majesty the King's assertion about the necessity of upholding a firm united Arab stance and the need to fight terrorism, tackling all forms of external interference in domestic affairs and of halting hostile statements aimed at spreading chaos and sedition among peaceful people.